hello guys welcome back to my channel from the title today you can see here i'll be making some goat meat pepper soup and i'll use some lemongrass this recipe is super easy anyone can make it go ahead and watch the video to the end thank you so much so first of all i have my goat meat already cut into small sizes and i wanted to make like um, a little quantity and i like to add some shaki or beef tripe i love it because i have always used it if i'm making chicken pepper soup i'll add some of it if i'm making um goat meat pepper soup i always add, add the beef tripe because i just love how it tastes in pepper soup so for this recipe i'm going to be using um just regular gnaw maggi this one is just the gnaw um, bouillon cubes you can use regular maggi this is chicken bouillon yeah i think i'll show you sometime but you can use any seasoning of your choice i really don't like cooking with extra salt because this already has salt in it and you know we're getting older so we got to be more careful with like salt to avoid health and other stuff like that okay so next um, i put water in my electric kettle I let it boil then I go ahead and add my water into the already clean goat meat and beef tripe which uh, we all call shaki and I let this boil for approximately 30 minutes so I don't really um, let it cook to be super soft but I just let it cook to be tender enough and these are everything I need I use one habanero pepper which is scotch bonnet and this is my seasoning i've been using this seasoning for like <laughs> five years or more i bought it in worry and it's really good because they don't take out some of the real spices so it's whole and just two packs is enough for me and i use crayfish and also use dry pepper because i like it to be really spicy so here i put in my one habanero pepper and this was like after 20 minutes yeah so it's already a little bit tender I put in my two already um, blended pepper soup spice and I go ahead and add my dry pepper and my dry crayfish the pepper is optional depending on how spicy you like your food I love my food spicy <laughs> and without like what is pepper soup without pepper <laughs> you know what I'm talking about right so I go ahead and mix together and cover the pot for like just five minutes so the pepper soup can, the spices can get in. Then I add my final, <laughs> this is special, you can see the color fresh from the farm. <laughs> my big mommy has a farm where she plants lemongrass. See for the health benefits, just google it, you will be shocked at how much health benefits lemongrass comes with. Um, you can also use what they scent leaves but I really love lemongrass with my pepper soup. I give it a quick stir. The reason why I wrap it around is so it can come off the pot easily, right? So I go ahead, give it a quick stir and cover my pot again. And I leave my lemongrass to cook for at least 15 minutes. So you can make this pepper soup in an hour, you're done. And it's gonna come out really good. So you can see the lemongrass is no longer as green. My soup has taken all the juice, all the good nutrients off it. Now it's time to take it off. I just stir and because I wrapped it together, it's gonna come off way easier than if I didn't wrap it together. So I just take it off. Definitely, it's gonna scatter so there are more. I go ahead and take off the little ones. Voila, my pepper soup is ready. <laughs> Guys, get your plate, let's eat this yummy pepper soup. So I just go ahead, plate mine. I love my, see how that shaki is looking. Oh man, food is good though. <laughs> Anyways, I go ahead, plate it, and I will be eating mine with white rice. If you've not tried white rice and pepper soup, what are you even doing? You better try it, it is super yummy. So this is just um, the end of the video. Super short, super easy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a beautiful day, bye.